are psych projects. Fact or fiction? The analysis of a psychological film. The analysis of a film with a psychological concept. The Shining. Red Rock. Jack Nicholson here, 20 years after the ridiculous aftermath of the Overlook Hotel. I'm here with my good friend Shannon Mullins from PBS News Crew, and we're just going through a little synopsis of what could have led to my cabin fever and schizophrenic actions. The movie opens up with the scene of the Torrance family as Jack Nichols accepts the job offer as the Overlook Hotel winter caretaker for the season. Wendy, the disgusting Shelley Duvall, scariest face alive, and her son, Danny Boy, are seen at home where we get our first look and take upon Danny's schizophrenia. You can infer his schizophrenia due to his actions as he claims that a little boy named Tony lives inside of his mouth. We see that the three of them are locked away in a giant abandoned isolated ugly hotel. Continuing throughout our film. Sorry that is because that. of due to that. Jack is developing a sort of cabin fever. It occurs when you are in a stable environment for over a period of time, isolated, no change in scenery or interactions. Many people can actually develop a condition, condition when they are locked away, maybe in the winter time, stuck indoors <coughs> without much to do, little to accomplish. So our dear friend Jack is beginning to go a little psychotic. As we continue throughout the film. Back to where we were in the summary. So Danny and Wendy, the beautiful Shelley Duvall, ugliest creature I've ever seen in my life, they're starting to realize that Jack is going a little haywire. So <clears throat> the scene leads off and Wendy finds the paper or the book Jack has been writing all this time. Well, it turns out Jack hasn't been writing a book. It has been a series of thousands of papers with one phrase repeated. All, All work, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Jack Nichols back from a long, that was a delicious break. Everyone's going a little haywire. And this is when Wendy, Wendy. she is realizing the fact that it is time to get Danny out of the hotel. It is very understandable that most likely schizophrenia is just genetic in the Torrance family. As due, due to, to because, because of, of that. that. It appears that Danny and Jack both have a case of schizophrenia. One, because Danny is constantly hallucinating the story of the two girls who were also murdered at the Overlook Hotel. These girls were murdered by their father when he was the caretaker in the winter many years ago. Danny also has a little gift of psychic powers that he shares with Scatman. They call it <coughs> The Shining. Wendy is noticing that what is wrong and she also is starting to get a feeling that Jack is about to go crazy. So, without her, with her prior knowledge, she talks to Jack, telling him the only option they have. And that is when Jack's making death threats. He doesn't want to hurt her. He only wants to bash her brains in. Anyways, so uh, Shelly, being the great mom that she is, she uh, goes and locks herself and Danny in the hotel room. She also, well beforehand, she hits Jack on the head with a baseball bat. Whoop out! Now, 
This is the part that no one will ever clearly understand. Wendy locks Jack in the food pantry with no way out. The lock is on the outside. None of us will ever understand how it is that Jack managed to get outside of the food pantry. And somehow he finds an ax from somewhere. So my theory is there was an ax in the food pantry. So now that he has an ax, this dangerous psychopath has been given a weapon of mass destruction. The only thing he can do next is kill. Turn that cell phone off! You're ruining my program. Hello. All right, so now that it is clear that Jack is on his wild rampage throughout the Overlook Hotel. This is the part where Wendy decides that it would be a brilliant idea to lock her and Danny in the bathroom with a four inch window. <clears throat> At her attempts, she shoves Danny through the window and he slides down a snow hill to his safety. But, um, as uneducated as Danny is, he goes back into the hotel. Now, that Danny is in the hotel, Jack's in the hotel, and Wendy is in the hotel. And the most famous scene and most famous line from the film is the moment where Jack breaks through the bathroom door with an ax and claims the line that took America's hearts away. Here's Johnny! <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, we are, um... <laughs> this is so funny. Keep going. Okay. So, <clears throat> alright. So, this is when his face is in the door, and Wendy, with her meat cleaver, slices his hand, and, you know, so then he decides to leave her, which is very odd because he had a direct range, a direct target that he could have killed her right then and there. But no, he decided to go downstairs and find Danny Boy. And Danny, of course, he ran back into the hotel. And then the moment when Jack is limping across the floors of the hotel. Excuse me when I pick up my walking stick. <laughs> moment. Jack is limping across. Danny runs out into the hallway. I don't know why he did this. And at the same time, this is when Scatman, I forgot to tell you earlier, Danny summoned Scatman through his psychic powers while he was sitting in bed. And now Danny at this time also claims that he is no longer Danny. This is Tony, apparently. Tony is in Danny's body. Danny has left the building for a little while, Mrs. Torrance. You don't have to deal with it. So I was after Danny, and then Scatman, since he had the psychic powers that something was going wrong, he came up to the hotel in a snow cat. All right. So this is a very, very important scene because if Scatman had never come in the snow cat, they would have had, Wendy and Danny would have had no way of escaping the lodge. So as Danny is running around the hotel trying to escape, this is when Scatman enters. He is unaware of the trouble that is going on throughout the scene. And this is right, the worst timing Scatman could have entered. Why did he have to die? Jack Nichols irresponsibly Jack Nichols axes him in the face so Scatman is now dead on the ground Wendy and Danny are still running around Danny runs into the maze there is a giant bush maze at the Overlook Hotel as Danny runs in Jack runs after him so as Jack is chasing Danny throughout the maze. Due to the snow, Danny is running vigorously for his life to cover up his footprints so that he is not axed to death in the same manner that Scatman was. 
And as the two are running, Danny finally comes to the senses to wipe away his footprints and backtrack himself out of the maze. He follows the footprints that brought them into the maze in order to save his life. At this exact same moment, Wendy has just left the hotel. She is running for her life towards the snowcat when she finds her beloved son, Danny Boy, and whisks him off to the snowcat that Scatman arrived in.